Okay, hi everybody. This is going to be a quick demonstration of how to add a data frame so we can put a locator map on here and show the proximity of Utah State to uh, Salt Lake City. So, uh, we have one data frame here. I've set up my page in landscape view, which is done in the page and print setup. Uh, I'm going to insert a new data frame. And in fact, I think I'm going to turn this off and see if I can speed up the drawing at all. I'm going to um, bottom align it. I'm going to give myself kind of a little buffer in there. And then with this guy activated, I can add a base map. I'm going to use something like streets because I don't want it to be an aerial image. I want this to be more like a locator map. Now, it sure be handy if I had actual data in here that I could zoom to. So I'm going to just copy this down here temporarily. I'm going to ignore that. And I'm going to zoom to this layer just to speed up the process. Whether it's speedy, <laughs> I don't know. Now I can grab my minimizing or zoom out tool and I can kind of force this to uh, zoom out to the scale that I want it to be at. You could also um, just, you know, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in until you find the Salt Lake City Logan area, which might be faster, in fact, than doing it this way. Um, but anyway, this gives you a little bit of control. There's Logan and there's Ogden. You know what? That's totally the right. Yeah, my next door neighbor's office is under construction. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, let's see here. Let's get rid of this base map credit. Insert dynamic text. Service layer credits. Drag those off the page. Uh, this is a little ugly. Oh, it's the BNR labels. So let's just get rid of this now that we don't need it anymore. This is a pretty decent uh, extent indicator. We've got the Salt Lake, we've got Ogden, we've got 84, we can see Logan. That works for me. Now the way that an extent indicator works, we're going to use this spatial extent and mark that exactly on this map. We do it by setting the extent indicator on our new locator map data frame. So right click, go to the properties, uh, extent indicators. It's one of the tabs. We want to pull the extent from layers, which is our main map. We're going to move that over. Uh, my frame is in here. I'm not a big fan of flaming bright red, so I'm going to set it to something just a little bit more subtle. We may find that we need to make this line thicker, uh, which we can do, but for now let's just set it and see how it looks. Okay, you can barely see it. It's right here. This is the exact extent that is in this map right here. So I think we probably need to doctor that up a little bit. It's a little bit of a cheaty way to do it. Um, highlight layers, click on frame. Let's just see how big we can make this. Uh, we might be able to set it to custom. That might be as big as it goes. Yeah, that's not very big, is it? Oh, we lost our city labels. I don't like that as much. So I'm going to go back to the previous extent. And maybe what we'll do is force some kind of cheater lines. My map isn't redrawing until I do that for some stupid reason. So what we could do is make this line, so right click, and we can make this frame a little bit thicker. And then we can use like little cheater lines. Um, so with the draw toolbar, and I like to dock this guy down here, we can draw a line like this, and we could click from here to here. You'd think there's a uh, double click to end it. And then we could add another line from here to here. It doesn't really cover up anything on our map. Um, it gives you the idea we can turn our base map back on here. So that's kind of a quick fix. The black dot is not as big as I would like it to be. We could zoom in a little bit more, but I don't want to lose kind of the simplicity of this map. So th that's sort of the, the gist of it. It's a, it's a playing around kind of thing. What we could do is, um, 
if we zoom out on this map, I think you'll see, you should be able to see that our extent indicator actually gets bigger. Um, so we could add a second data frame that kind of builds a series of um, spatial reference for us, but it's just not worth it. And my computer's not running today for some reason, so uh, as it grinds away. So you're not the only ones who have to suffer through this kind of stuff with GIS, just so you know. <laughs> it happens to everybody. Uh, I don't know that I have the patience to wait for this to draw, um, but play around with this. That's what an extent indicator does. That's how you might want to set up your page. That's how you can insert a second data frame to add a base map for a locator map. And if you have any questions, let me know. <laughs> Goodbye, GIS.